All right, guys, welcome back to the Road to Super Sonic Legend series. We're on episode number 46 today, and we're getting super, super close to Super Sonic Legend now. We're only one or two episodes away, I would believe. But today, we're going to be Moonless Con, and thank you to Ben Classen for this image and uh, name recommendation. It's time to make this picture. So I searched up Gru stealing the moon, but it's not really giving me many options here. Like, I don't really know what to use. It seems like this might be the best one, even though it's, like, kind of tiny. I'm thinking I might just stick a giant head on Gru here of Sunless, so... <laughs> I'm gonna copy this and put it in Photoshop. Gotta grab the classic sunless photo. This one looks all right. This one's kind of low effort, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's looking real good. Gotta gotta move his head a little bit though. Maybe turn it around. I, I, I dude, <laughs> I have no idea. We're just gonna go with that. You know, it's a low it's a low effort, but let's just change the sunless uh, colors a little bit to make it match a little more. I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'm just gonna, just gonna leave him like that. To make him a little bigger. Oh, he's so beautiful. All right. Well, that was definitely one of the more lower effort <laughs> pictures, but I like it. I don't know if you guys noticed, but we're doing a little more sunless con pictures. Maybe because there's a certain reason. You know, maybe the fact that he would eat a shoe if we reach 1 million subscribers by March 31st. Uh, just maybe, maybe. You know, if you've been watching my videos lately. But uh, today we are Grand Champion 3 Division 2 at 1787. Honestly, this could be one of the very last episodes here. So if we win every game, we might be really super close to ranking up. And uh, we'll see how the divisions move up in this episode. But you guys have been mentioning that you want me to save the last episode until March 31st. So if you don't see an episode for a while, that might be why. You know, maybe <laughs> we'll want to see. But we're going to jump into the next game, see how it goes. Like I said, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We're just uh, under 20,000 subs away from 1 million, which is just insane. I really appreciate the support. Try bump them out of the way. <laughs> that was the weirdest bump play. I almost forgot the dead zone again. <laughs> I felt it. I felt it for like a split second when I was driving like this, and then I realized that yep, there's the turns that I'm that I'm fighting against. All right, the first game we got Toxics and Bubba Bach versus me and Rascal Bones. <laughs> for some reason, I just love the name Rascal Bones. I don't know why. It's awesome. These guys are both season two tournament winners, so they're pretty solid players. Got this mid boost. Hopefully, my teammate can get the mid the corner boost. I think he did. Uh, did. Can save the corner. Pop it up nice and high. Pump him if I can. Actually, once has lost the space. Good. Go for a tap off the backboard and then try to follow it. It's a good try for my teammate and end up backing off. I need to get back as soon as possible. He, need, he needs to go for that, that, that shot right away. Nice. Go for the 50 50. It's alright. My teammate should be there. See if he makes the double. Looks like he's missing, so we're just gonna take a shot. Let's see what he does. Nice. My teammate should have a free ball. I'm gonna get the back corner, wait for the play. Ends up missing. Good try. Cool. Kinda of expected that guy to chase me like that, so I was just trying to wait for him to chase into me. And here I can grab the ball in the corner. Actually, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> I missed. I was like, never mind. You know what? Actually, never mind. It's gonna pop out mid, and then my teammate wasn't there, and I, I panicked. I don't know why I thought. He, th he probably thought I was touching the ball. It's definitely on me. It's all good, though. I should have just touched it. I didn't want to give it back to them in the corner, though. So that's why I was a little worried. Bad touch from the opponent. I would have liked to catch that ball and made it make a play instead of uh, just popping it to them. But I'm not really worried about Bubba Bach going on this. I'm just going to pop it forward. Take his boost. Pop it off the backboard so my teammate gets it. Hopefully he can follow it. a good shot and he ended up missing there we go just waiting for the ball to spill out mid and take a quick shot with the corner of the car i talked about that a lot that you're trying to get that pinch of the front right corner and sometimes it's just enough that it confuses the opponent and they can't get back toxic's grabbing that corner boost wasn't the greatest play because he leaves the net open when that ball spills at mid okay i didn't know my team was gonna go this could be a goal now um i definitely had possession to just shoot that ball um or at least make the challenge because my teammate is super far behind and uh, in that situation, I still have like 20 to 30 boosts. Probably doesn't know that. But you can see that him going as last man overcommits us. So it's better if I, I just, you know, take that position at least. Over one should be a decent try. Once again, one extra touch would be really good for us. Um, because it just makes it way, way more difficult to read. If you throw the ball away at that distance, you're usually going to get, um, you know, just give the ball away. 
Got their mid boost. Good pop. Good try. Pop up nice and high. He's probably not ready for it. I'll go up for this. And there we go. <clears throat> so in that situation when the ball is free, I see Toxics moving up forward. I'm watching him right here. I see him facing forwards. There's so much time he needs to take to turn it around and go for the uh, go for the save. So I know I have a pretty good advantage to jump up for that. The second I see him not like protecting the backboard at all. Go for a hard shot. Might not be able to reach it. And there we go. So off the sidewall, I just go for that that pinch shot with the front of my car. After the ball pops off, the, off that corner right there. The second I see that little pop, I know I can try to make an immediate shot. And Toxics was waiting patiently on the backboard. Let's see if uh, Bubba Block makes a good 50-50 here. Going for a, lo uh, a late um, challenge. But it ends up popping off the curve, which isn't the greatest for us. It's a good shot. Bubba Block's going to clear it to me. Make sure I grab a challenge. Toxics is going to go. I'm going to fake this. Go for pass middle. It's too dangerous. Good with my teammate to wait. It's going to pop up as well, so get a little bit careful with this. I'll try and challenge this in the corner. Make him have to throw it away. Stay close in front, so it gets a 50-50. Teammate should get it. Nice. No boost in the back corner, so I'm just going to grab a few boost pads. Ooh, that's a good double. I'm going to fake him here. Good. I'm going to keep it awkward. Pop it around the corner. To be able to beat this guy, and now my teammate can probably possibly follow it up mid. It's a decent touch from Bubba. I wasn't sure if my team was gonna grab that mid boost or go for the ball, so I just went for the ball, but I could have maybe left it for him. I can't go for this because Tox is gonna go clear. And Bubba Bach might stay on this. It's fine, so it'll stay with it. That's good for my teammate to follow up to. Toxics misses it. Rascal Boat should stay with this. Try to get a 50 50. Good, smart. Wait for Bubba to clear the ball. Wait for Toxus to try and make a shot. Ends up missing. Keep it close. Oh, that's a good that's a good touch from him. I should have definitely just put it to the corner. I don't know why I tried to keep it close like that. He immediately stayed on it. I think the demo came through from the uh, the opponent too. Oh, he went for the back corner. I, I I don't know who demoed who. I didn't see, but either way, I probably should have cleared that to the corner instead of jumping early. He gave the ball away. It's all good though. There we go. I just know it's open. So I just go for the immediate shot. The guy turned in super late. In that situation, I know that I can beat him if he's going to turn on that once I get the mid boost. Because it pops off the ceiling. Once that bounce off the ceiling comes in, I just go immediately. Hopefully he stays close. A little dangerous. Good pop, though. I'm going to fake this. Fake. And there we go. Good first game. Uh, definitely a few mistakes on my end as well. But we get plus nine, which is getting super, super close to SSL. I think we're only going to do three games in this episode. And that next episode might be it. So I don't know. Do you guys want me to wait until March 31st to post the last episode? Or just get it over with? You have to let me know because uh, we're getting super close. We might actually, uh, like, we might actually make it in this episode. We don't even know. All right, Rasko Bones, the other team now. And we got Clay Doe on my team, who's 1801. Uh, Miguel RL is 1868. So this could be a pretty tough game. See if my teammate stays with it. Good patience. Good fake. Could bump him off. Hopefully my teammate can make a shot. Didn't make a great touch. But neither did the opponent. Good 50 though. Should wait for Miguel to pop the ball away. Now my teammate has a free ball. He's a little boost though. Good patience to stay. Oh, I ended up getting his boost stolen though. So good decent play to stay close. Oh. Close. I think my teammate's still pretty low boost. He needs to get I focus on getting 100 boost pads once in a while. Get the demo and then my teammate can come in. Get the demo on the other guy. Good play around. Good. Miguel's clear once again. Clado has a free touch. This is a decent boom. It could have been a lot better though because it goes right to the opponent. But they're actually playing super patiently. Ooh. That's gonna be an, that's gonna be on target. I was very confused by that touch. I thought he was definitely gonna beat him and then I got like thrown off. It looked like he was gonna get a, a decent 50-50 and it ended up popping backwards. I thought it was going to be like a lot higher. I definitely should have been further back, I guess. Good clear. My teammate should definitely not be going for that because he's last and has no boost off kickoff. Should be all right, though. Once again, my, my teammate's just not prioritizing boost at all. Like He missed that corner boost. There we go. I'm just going to stay with this, hopefully. 
Like my teammate should definitely have 100 boost by now. He, def he does ha he does have it, so that's good. Clear across. Teammate should stay with this. Not a great touch. Teammate clear down field. Kalados should try to stay with this. Decent pop. Decent shot towards target. Almost on almost on net too. Teammate should try to stay with this. Good 50-50. this behind the one player decent good play by my teammate but you got bumped out so let's see what happens here ends up missing try bump him out of the way <laughs> that was the weirdest bump play i didn't expect them to be so close to me when i was going for the air dribble but he was right underneath the ball and i was like okay well i'll just i'll just sit next to the guy and just push him out of the way i was just like bulldozing him with my aerial it's pretty funny i've never seen that before i didn't expect rasso to push up so close there we go. Cause some pressure, so he has to touch the ball. Right here. It's fine. Team has a free ball now. And there we go. Nice play from me, the, my teammate to pinch that around the corner. Those are really difficult to read as a defender if you're close post when this happens. So I see him push up. Now that situation, when he's backing up, I can just go behind and get the clear. So well played from my teammate. It's a great pass. Okay. Go for the immediate shot. Makes him have to jump, and that way I can get the corner boost pretty securely. Teammate, uh, wasn't sure if he wants to challenge that or not. Pop it around the one player. Wait for this guy's touch as well. Pass it middle now. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that's a good play from him. I didn't expect him not to be there in middle. That's my bad, I guess. I. He was under the ball. That's, a, that's an issue I see a lot, is that people are just under the ball as if I'm not there. Or like as if their teammate isn't going to touch the ball or do anything. Gotta be a little bit careful with that. Um, make sure that you read the play. You know, see your teammate up the wall. They could touch the ball, so you gotta be a little careful. There we go. Stay with this. It's gonna be off target. Good clear, though. Ooh, okay. I didn't expect that to bounce like that, but that's okay, though. I'm gonna bump him. My teammate has a free ball. Ends up giving it back to them, but could have maybe held on to it. Got a nice uh, power shot to the left side, and there's a free goal. Teammate, uh, the opponent was in the back left corner. And I saw Miguel go for the back corner or back right corner of the boost. And so both teammates are kind of split split decisions. So even if I put that on target, it's going to cause them to either double commit or get scored on. So definitely a good uh, de a good uh, <laughs> thing to go for, I guess. I mean, obviously, it's good to shoot a ball on target, but you know what I mean? So let's see what happens here. Clear out to the side. Plato's once again kind of lingering in mid, but he ends up getting to that ball, which is pretty good. But that situation, he's just kind of lingering in midfield. He can get really, really get caught out if he does that too often, where he's just sitting still and not really doing much. Uh, he needs to make sure he keeps proactive and, and read the play ahead. He's probably, like, trying to trust me a little bit, but not fully. So he's, like, waiting in case the ball goes towards target and, my, and I miss. So I completely understand it. We're still Division 2, though, so I believe that we're actually still a little bit further than I think. I thought 1815 was where you move up in SSL, but maybe they changed it. I have no idea. Because that one time we moved up to like, I think the 50s, 18, or 1650 or something, and we finally moved up. But we'll jump into the last game and see how it goes. All right, we got Mew on my team. I think it's Mew. I can't remember. And Rex and Sly, who uh, are a little lower level players. At least the one guy is. I'm going to force him to make the clear. Get by my teammate. Go for the challenge. Good. Rex is going to beat me to this. I'm just waiting for the shot. I'm just going to clear to the corner. Okay. Could be a shot. My teammate's not... Defending net, it's a little scary. See Rex up, so he'll be a little, a little bit wary of that. Ends up missing. The teammate puts it to the corner. It's going to be a decent play. Decent 50-50. Keep this close. Didn't make the best touch, but my teammate could follow it up. Nice. Should be open. There we go. Well played. Uh, definitely not a great touch from me, though. I was a little bit scared uh, to leave that when Rex was chasing like that. He kind of just pushed up and did nothing, so... <laughs> I don't know why I was so scared. He, I thought he was going to challenge that, and I was last man. So, definitely makes sense why I tried to go for that. But, ends up working out. Team is going to wait. Get touch around. Oh. The teammate didn't see me come in. That's fine. I'm just going to wait behind Sly here. Keeping pressure. He's in 50-50. My teammate can come in and make a 50. Nice. Well played. 
Make a shot towards target after that 50-50, and there we go. Get two goals pretty quickly. And apparently we're Rocket Repleter. What, is, what does that mean? Is that how many goals I've gotten in this series? <laughs> Terrible pun as name. <laughs> Shush! Fake. I told you guys, you guys, some of these names that you guys are recommending are too obvious. Oh. Hop it over a sly, see what they do. Nice shot, almost close. Good flick. Oh, I tried to follow that up. Could be a shot, though. Nice play. I, I tried to, like, follow that up with the boost after the flick above me, but it bounced off that weird corner of the crossbar. Wasn't sure where it was going to bounce. It was a good flick. Definitely had to wait because my teammate wasn't behind me yet. It's a good bounce for us. Slides in an awkward spot. I'm going to go for the, the bump if I can. And there's the free goal. Nice. Right there, I tried to go for the bump when the guy was on the floor in case he waited, but because he jumped, he was in an awkward position and missed anyway, so he was forced to jump and then couldn't make the touch and my, my teammate get the free goal. Wait for this touch, playing a little, really awkward. Make a shot towards target, make them clear to the other side, and my teammate can get a free ball now. Okay, I see that the opponent's trying to trying to demo me when his teammate's left in a 1v1. Definitely don't do that. <laughs> it's a bumping my teammate up to the ball too. But Sly went for the uh, the late jump, and my team was able to get a 50-50. He's playing really solid. I don't really want to score again, but... <laughs> We've already scored too many goals. Nice 50-50. Should be open for my teammate, maybe. He's a little far back because he's getting boost, but that's okay. I'll get behind my teammate, though. Good save. Fake. Oh, I tried to fake them out again. Good play. Pop it around my teammate, or to my teammate. And there we go. So there's not really much they can do at this point with four goals left. At this rank, uh, everyone moves so fast that the recoveries are so quick. And there's the forfeit. You end up seeing a lot more forfeits up at the higher rank because of that, I think. Um, especially when you're playing like really solid players, you tend to like just, you know, accept defeat, at least in 2v2. Obviously in 3v3 or like RLCS, you try every moment you can because it matters. But like in ranked, you can just move on and, and improve nonetheless you know what i mean it doesn't really matter we divi we actually division up to division three here so we're getting super super close i'm not sure if the next episode will do it it probably won't so it might line up with march 31st more than i expected it to which is kind of crazy that everything's kind of lining up for my birthday this year but i hope you guys enjoyed the episode make sure to subscribe like i said if you haven't already and we'll catch you guys in the next video